What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie gaming, we're checking out Seeds of Resilience, which is a game that has a you can survey. You've got tutorial, we can do quitter right there. Apparently my language changed, interestingly enough, to French. I was playing the tutorial before this and it was in English and then it all swapped over to French. Huzzah. This is a survival game. It's a turn-based survival game, which I think is going to be kind of interesting for a lot of people because you might be thinking like how do you make how do you make a turn-based survival game? Well, basically in this game, you're trapped on an island, you've got a group of people, and every single day they've got a number of tasks that they can undertake. The best way that I know how to describe it is it's sort of like Dead in Bermuda, but maybe with like a little bit more emphasis on the building and survival aspects rather than the storyline and interpersonal story aspects. But anyway, this is a cool little game, and it's in early access right now, so it's constantly getting updates and things like that. So now we have the trait system. The last time we played this game, it wasn't even out on Steam. It was on itch.io in a very early state, so I personally am pretty excited about checking it out. Let's dive on in and do some survival. Yeah, we'll have a regular gameplay experience. Okay, so here's our little intrepid band of adventurers. Hopefully there's food on this island, because people are looking a little hungry right now. They're looking a little tiny bit hangry. Let's have a look at our character. So we've got Pharaoh, who apparently is repertoire. Uh, it set us back to French again for some reason. I don't know why. I guess the game just really, really, really wants us to be French. Ah, uh, to be French. Repairer. So this guy repairs buildings twice as fast. He's got a pickaxe mastery, but he damages his tools twice as fast. And he's fearful when he sleeps outside, so he gets less time. This guy's a heavy sleeper, so every single day, Zarek gets more hours than everybody else, as you can tell by his little green meter up there. He's a dummy, so his crafting takes longer than everybody else. And he's a glut, which means he requires more food. This guy's a survivalist, Skanda. So his survival skill levels up twice as fast. Agile, he's 50-50, chance to keep a tool in good condition when he uses it. And then he goes twice as fast on recycling actions. Okay. Let's have a look around our home. See if there's anything worth eating out here. So we got like a broom plant. What is this over here? You guys got anything going on on this side? We have blackberry bushes. Hmm. I don't see anything edible around, and that worries me. There's lots and lots and lots of flax plants. But unfortunately, all of our blackberry bushes on this island seem to be kind of dead. Let's see here. So three turns left until it becomes alive. Okay. Can we eat a crab? How hard is it for us to eat crab? Like if there's little crabs and things wandering around. Yeah, maybe like pick up some crabs or something. So Skanda got a bunch of crabs. If we wanted to make like a campfire or something, let's see how we do that. So we got a crafting menu over here. We can make everything from the food menu to we can plant all kinds of crops. We can remove soil and lower the elevation as well. We've got vegetable bushes. We've got a fishing rod right there. And then it looks like we've got a fishing spear as well that we can craft. As far as houses go, not a whole lot we can do there. We got a warehouse on that side. Do different people build different things? Is that what it is? So we need bamboo, we need string, and we need a crate in order to make a warehouse where all of our goods will go. I wonder if they can just, like, eat raw crab. Probably not, I bet. I bet you they can't. I bet you they're going to get sick from it. But there's lots of crab around. I mean, all you got to do is throw it on a fire. It's not hard. Like, that's it. You shove a stick through it and put it on the fire, and you should be okay. And we got shells over here. We got some more crabs. Can I get the fish, or is that not something that we can do? I need a fishing spear in order to do that. Let's see how we can make the fishing spear. So the fishing spear requires bamboo and string. Okay, where is bamboo at? Do we have bamboo around? There's a bamboo plant. I see you. So for this one, in order to harvest this guy, we need an axe. And we don't have an axe. Hmm. Okay. You've got me kind of... You got me at a disadvantage right now. Is it because all of my guys are terrible at survival? Is that what it is? I think that's what it is. All of my dudes are bad at survival. Crab meat looks somewhat stringy, but it is delicious. Okay, well, like, let's go ahead and, like, make some crabs then. There you go. 
There you go. We've harvested a metric ass ton of crab. Hopefully they will eat it. If they don't eat it, it's going to be a frustration because they're going to get hangry. They're going to get hangry real fast. So we got some sticks right there. We've got a broom shrub. Yeah, let's go ahead and tear down some of these saplings maybe. There we go. A couple of saplings all nice and banged out. Any other saplings around here? So that's an oak tree. That requires, it appears as though we need an axe to get rid of that. What about this little guy right here? That's got a broom brush going on. What is that, a young oak? Yeah, go ahead and grab some more sticks. I'm okay with that. Yeah, we'll get a couple broom shrubs down. And then with our one hour left that we still have, maybe, yeah, just a blackberry bush. Never mind. Apparently, I can't get after that. How long do these have until they're ready to go? They've got... I don't see anything. So is everybody too tired to do these tasks? Hold on. So this has three turns left until it has berries on it, I think, is what they're implying right there. What about this guy? Does this guy already have blackberries? I don't think he does. But this one's got a difference. So three turns left, summer day three. Interesting. So it's going to be a while before those are actually functional. I gotcha. So with rubble, we can't really do anything with that right now. Everybody's out of... Uh, can I get the rubble right there? Yeah, get the planks or whatever. I don't know what I'm going to use those for, but grab away. Let's see if we starve to death or if they're smart enough just to eat the raw crab meat. Let's see here. I would be more energetic if we had a home. Slept outdoors and fearful. Okay, that's fine. Like, what kind of stuff can I build? Nothing as of right now. Apparently, we're just not good at that. So how do I level up? So like with stone cutting, smithing, how do I level up survival here? Like if I wanted to do better at survivalificating, where is that hidden on the list? I don't know. What is that right there? We need a pickaxe in order to do that. Can I just pick up like loose stones? Yeah, just kind of pick up whatever, I guess. We'll like get some flax. And maybe some more shells. Just add those kind of to the pile. So we don't have any bamboo for that. Yeah, I think we're kind of like... It's possible that maybe by crafting this, they'll get better at survival. That's what I'm thinking. Are these shells right here? Those are pebbles. Gotcha. Okay, there's a difference. So you spend all your time picking up seashells today. We'll get a big old grip of seashells. And then this guy right here. Go ahead and make some fish hooks. Did that actually raise his survival skill? Oh, really? He's an expert survivor now. Ah, well, there it is. It unlocked a whole bunch of recipes. Apparently, all you have to do is make like a hundred fish hooks out of seashells, and you can you too can be Bear Grylls slash Les Stroud slash Corey Lundine. That's all it takes. Uh, we've got pebbles. We need string for that. All right, we can do that. Uh, let me make a string right here. Maybe like two strings. And then in order to make this guy, we can make... We can either make a pickaxe or we can make an axe. I think I'd rather make the axe. The villager is not skilled enough. What about you? Can you do it? Doesn't have enough hours left to complete the task. Ah, bummerowski. Okay, so how much crab meat do I have left? We only have one crab meat left. All right, well, you better, like, pick up some more crabs then. Just in case. Where are the crabs at? Where are the crabs? Where are the crabs? Where are the crabs at? Oh, never mind. Apparently, we're all out of crab for right now. Nope, there's one. There's one. He's hiding. I saw him. He was back there. We got to wait for him to pop back out. Got him. There we go. So we got a couple more crabs. I got one hour right here. There's another crab back up in here. He's hiding in this little hole. We got to wait for him to stick his little crab-like head. No, I clicked the wrong thing. Oh, weak, dude. Now we're going to go hungry. This is going to be lame. Is everybody well fed, though? We should try fishing. Yeah, I'm working on it. I'm trying real, real hard. But it's just, it's not easy, okay? So we need the axe in order to do this. Oh, yeah, nobody made the axe. I forgot about that. We ran out of time. So there's the axe right there. Go ahead and craft that. We now have an axe. We can make a pickaxe, too. But I think I'd rather go for the bamboo over here. So we've got that. 
Go ahead and harvest it. Require tool axe. Do I equip that on him? Maybe that's what it is. Ah, there we go. Okay, so you got to click on that thing. Did the crabs come back? I would assume that there would be like an endless supply of crab in the ocean. Yeah, you just grab a couple more crabs. We're going to like make it out of this the only way that we know how. By eating loads and loads of crabs. Alright, so you take the axe. And while you're here, chop that guy right there. Alright, so we've chopped that down. We can make a pronged spear. Villager is too tired to do this task. Alright, well you do it then. There we go. Alright, and so inside of this menu, we've got five hours. I would suggest maybe that we have this person go fishing just so we can eat. So there's some fishies right there. And some more fishies. Nice. Okay, well, we've got a little bit of food laying around. Can we build anything new right now? Is that possible? Oh, we can. Nice, dude. There's a whole bunch of stuff that they added. Okay, so we can make a campfire, it looks like. Not enough bamboo in stock to build a fire. Are you sure? Let's make our campfire like... I don't know. Where do we want to live at? This seems reasonably clear over here. Let's go live here. Mm, we can spend an hour. Yeah, go ahead and spend an hour on it. You have that much time, so we can make some cooked fish. How long does that take? Oh, really? We need three fish in order to do that? Oh, man. You need a bunch of fish. Okay. Well, then just grab some more crabs. While we wait. There we go. There's a couple more crabs over here. I think we this little guy is hiding. Oh, I'm all, right. I'm all out of time. I'm out of time. We're out of time. Okay, so let's 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 get settled. We're gonna be alright. Everything's gonna be okay. We're off to a rough start right now, but you know. We're hanging in there. Food needs per day two. Time gain this turn. Alright, so you had the fishing spear, correct? Can I catch that frog right there? Yeah, catch that frog right there. Frog is not, like, the best meal, but it's a meal. So we've got a little bit of fish now. How much fish do I have? Selected villager is too tired. All right, well, then, like, you do it. So we can do six cooked fish right there. We can do a roasted frog. Yeah, go ahead and make the fish. And then also cook the frog. And then the next thing I think we're going to have to look into is getting shelter. Because people are losing HP pretty rapidly. Just by being, like, out in the weather. So let's go ahead and dedicate to there. We can put two hours on that. So we can put a little bit more time in it. There you go. Put some time into that, too. Do I still have enough materials to make another hut? How many huts do I have right here? So I'm going to need some more saplings, I think, if I want to make this work. Alright, so we'll confirm another hut right here. How do I rotate this? Like so. So there's hut number two. Put four hours into that because we've got food taken care of. But I'm trying to, like, get a place to live built for a couple of my people because HP has fallen off really, really concerningly fast. So with the food that we have, we don't really have a lot of time left. So we'll go ahead and... Let's see here. There's still... One or more villager has no housing. Well, yeah, I mean, I can't do anything about that. I'm going to build it tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow, I love you. Tomorrow, I swear that I'll build a house. I swear. Somebody will have a house tomorrow. It's just that, like, today, it can't be done. Sometimes things can't be done in the time that you want to do them in. It's just the way life goes. Alright, so that person slept outdoors but dressed warmly, slept outdoors and fearful. Are these, like, not done? Oh, we got a dragon drop them? Oh, I didn't realize. I thought they would just, like, automatically sleep inside the houses. Okay. Well, that's a bit of a bummer, but, like, sometimes these things happen. Sometimes these things do happen. So, summer day three. We just got to make it like a couple more days, and all this food's going to come in, I swear. 
Our ship will come in. You gather crabs for right now. And then actually, I think what we should probably focus on is getting another house built. So, confirm it. As far as that goes, we'll probably go like... Put this right here, maybe. Yeah, it looks good. Spend some time on it. And then who has a house? They have a house. That guy has a house. It's just old man Whitebeard that doesn't have a house. There we go. So old man Whitebeard now has a house. We've got a campfire. We've got a house. Life is good. This is a dead flax plant. Maybe I should get. Maybe I should have gathered more flax while the sun was shining. I'm slightly regretting my decisions. So is there any type of like fishing hut or anything we can make? Let's see here. I don't see anything like that in the list. That's some pretty rocking huts over here, though, but you're going to need some serious log in order to get those finished off. What is this? That is a quarry. A digging setup will allow you to bring back big rocks in large quantities. Be careful, though, to stop before everything collapses. All right. What is that? A metal workshop? And then we've got a wood workshop as well, just in case you want to move some logs around or something. Okay. Can I cook crab over here? Is that possible? Oh, those are chestnuts? Weird. So, like, I guess you just, like, eat crab raw, and nobody questions it. How is your fishing spear doing? Not well is the answer to that question. Unfortunately, we picked up two fish right there, and what we really needed was more. Who has an axe? Go ahead and, yeah, chop that down. No string in stock? Damn, dude, we're always out of something, aren't we? We're always out of something, ain't we? Alright, well, you keep doing survivally business. You over here, make us another fishing spear. That took, like, all day. Good God. Catch, like, one more fish. And then you come over here and cook a de fish. Perfect. So I guess we've got six more fish right now. I guess. That must be our cooked frog. Oh, so they ate, like, all of it last night? Oh, my God. You have unspent action time. Are you sure you want to do this? I mean, why not? Go ahead and we'll start clearing this area. We will need extra bottle brush, I guess. Let's see if they heal tonight. Hopefully they do because their health has been dropping off sharply like all... Oh, there's another person. Uh-oh. I don't think we have enough food. You're going to have to come again next time. Please go away. This island is not for you. Like, I'm not trying to be xenophobic or anything, but like... This is our island, and we can't really afford to have you here. Like, we're barely making it on our own as is. Like, I'm being honest right now. I'm not trying to burn you. Your extra labor is appreciated. Like, don't get me wrong. It's just that, like... We, we, we don't have space... Or food or anything else. Eight hours to chop down a chestnut tree? Nine hours to chop down a chestnut tree. Alright, we'll chop that one down. we got to start getting some lumber together, in my opinion. Like, once we start having some lumber and some other little things... So the flax plants are just, like, dead. They don't do anything for me, right? Alright, we'll chop down a bamboo plant. We're on to you now. You are uh, my fisher lady. So maybe spend a little bit of time... Just knocking out fish. There you go. So, my assumption is that we have a lot of fish right now. Right? We do. Okay, so make us some more fishy bits. I'm going to use the last of your turn to clear out that brush right there so that it's not in the way. And then, for you, go ahead and cook us some more fish. Like, anything that keeps us fed for a couple days is good in my books. And then, now that you've got a little bit of time left, what other stuff can we make? So over here, we need bamboo, we need string, and we need a crate. I don't see a crate around anywhere. Oh, no, there's a crate right there. Okay, so it's got a bunch of seeds in it. 
So we have one of our two crates. Is there another crate around? Let's just clean up the island for a minute, too. Like, we've got plenty of food, so let's, let's go around. We'll grab all the debris that's in the area. That'll give us some string and some planks and some other stuff that we can work with in order to maybe survive this a little bit easier. What is that right there? Granite? I don't think we need granite right now. I think we're good on the granite front. I don't see any other objects down. A hey. Was that seashells? What was that? I don't know what I just picked up. Oh, that other person doesn't have a house either. We're going to have to, like, get on top of that, huh? Okay. Um. Yeah, let's get a couple sticks, I guess. And I guess I can craft another hut. That holds two people right there. Let's just do another little lean-to. We don't need to have, like, a ton of lean-tos. We'll just take, like, the one. There you go. Spend four hours on it. And which is our new guy? So she's got a house. He's got a house. He's got a house. Oh, they've got kind of the same thing going on. Gotcha. They got like the same portrait. All right. So if I'm correct, everybody should have a house now. And we should be good to go, right? Right. Next day. Good. Everybody's healing up. They're getting a little bit more resilient to the seasons of survival over here. And we've got lots more energy to do our tasks with, too, which is, like, super great. So I want bamboo. I want to make a storage area where we can put all of our stuff so it's not just, like, laying all over the island. Like, that'd be super good. You got four hours. It's going to take you nine hours to chop that tree down? I don't know, man. I don't know. That seems unlikely. I think you might be fudging the numbers a little bit. All right? You might be fudging the numbers ever so slightly on how long it's going to take you to get one tree chopped down. I've chopped down trees before. Granted, I did it with a modern axe from a store, you know, that was made out of, like, the carbon steel or whatever you want to call it. Oh, the blackberries are here. Nice. Well, let's gather some blackberries then. Sounds like harvesting season to me. I wish I hadn't destroyed one or two of them on accident while I was trying to figure out how the plant harvesting worked. But hey, I guess that's life. Yeah, just gather up as much food as you can. Anything that'll hold. And a little froggy boy down there too. Go ahead and grab him. This game's kind of weird. It's kind of like a clicker game meets a survival game meets a hidden object. Where's Waldo game? That's kind of the impression that I'm getting from it right now. But I am enjoying myself. Like, I like how our little island has changed as we've been getting going. Like, it's cool to see, like, our little projects coming together and, like, little areas getting cleared out and stuff like that. So, no complaints so far. We are going to have to make ourselves another spear. I don't think we have much of an option on that front. And I think we're going to have to go fishing, too. Apparently, she's getting better at fishing, which means it takes less time. So, awesome. Let's go ahead and grab some of these little fishy. That's a big fishy right there. How do I get the big fishy? That's what I want. I want the big fishy. That dude looks delicious. All right, let's grab the fish from around here. She's just going to spend her entire day fishing, in my opinion. Has she gotten, like, is she, like, a master yet of fishing? So she is an adept, and her progress is a little bit faster. Okay. We got people eating up food at, like, a ludicrous rate right now. And it worries me. There we go. We got 17 fish. That should hold us for a while. I don't know if the fish in the ocean repopulate. Or if we even have to worry about that. Or if we can actually run out of them. It's a fact that, like, I, I don't know what to say about it. Uh, make a couple axes, I guess. Maybe like a pickaxe. Yeah, there we go. A couple more tools. And now that we have those, what is this guy good at? So he needs two food a day. He is good at fishing. He's a blacksmith. Is that even the right guy? I don't know. So he has blacksmith skill that goes up twice as fast. Everyone sleeping with him gets two less hours the next day. Skills level up twice as fast. And he has his ore mining time. Do I need ore? Let's find a project to work on first. Like something that we're going to need. So we've got a fishing paddock thing right here. Let 
Maybe we put that like right there. Yeah, spend some time on it. So we can fish? Oh, nice. Oh, sweet, dude. That just lets me like print my own fish. Guys, we've invented fish-based 3D printing. We are the best. Someone inform the scientists. Inform them. Inform the scientists. My name is Splattercat. This is Seeds of Resilience. My name is Splattercat. I show off indie games and sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile every single day on the internet so that you don't have to. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, don't forget to give it a like. Uh, that means that there's a good chance I'll do more episodes. And on top of that, it just flat out helps the channel out. Likes and you know dislikes and views and stuff like that are kind of the currency of YouTube that YouTube uses to decide internally with their algorithm whether or not your content goes out to your own subscribers. So I appreciate it when you do that. All right. Take care, everybody. Get the game down below in the description. And hi, do.